Can you go ahead and sit back for me, maybe a little bit? Yeah? Is that so better? What's your general impression of this picture? <coughs> 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 oh, sorry. Okay, your general impression of somebody with difficulty breathing? What about, what about his mental status? It's good. He's, he's talking and he's. Okay, he's talking, he's got an airway. What's his mental status on after? <coughs> an A, on he's after. alert. He's awake and oh. alert. A on after. Okay. So he has an airway because he's talking. How about his breathing? Terrible. Well, let's assess it. Terrible. Terrible. Remember your algorithm. What? Where, where the body signs come in your algorithm. Penicillin. I'm allergic to penicillin. When's the last time you took it? Yeah. yeah. You've been using it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, no, I just asked him if he took yeah. it on this onset. Well, I've been using it regularly. Yeah. I've been using it regularly. And it hasn't helped him. But why he, not? He did take it or he yeah. didn't take it? He did. He did. It's not helping. I've been using okay. it regularly. Okay. He also takes Lasix. Do you guys know what that medication is? It's a diuretic. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<coughs> what was his pulse? 30 or? Uh, his pulse is uh, rapid at 136. My uh, my dad died of a heart attack. Your father died. Or my history, yeah, my father died of a heart attack. We have heart disease in our family. Yeah. <coughs> but you have no chest pain right now? I, <coughs> no, no, no real chest pain. Just, like I said, just the whole, you know, breathing thing and the cough. And the heart rate. I, you know, I'm a little bit like so are we supposed to like actually take him out? Like, I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What we were, I thought this was just assessment. Or no, we assessed him. Sort of, kind of. Not really. You can voice. Well, <clears throat> you can voice treat. Okay. Do you want to do anything for him? Help me. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd. Put oh, it. wouldn't that be a good thing? Where do we fix breathe? Where do we put oxygen? Be breathing. As soon as we found out that he had rowels mm -hmm. and wheezing, mm -hmm. might we want to give him some oxygen? Mm -hmm. yep. So remember when you find a life threat, fix it. Or when you find a situation like that. Okay, how, what kind of oxygen are you going to put him on? Probably uh, a... Back valve mask at 15. Yeah. And do you have 15 liters on rebreather? No rebreather mask. Okay. Well, I have keep taking it off while he spits. <clears throat> when he's coughing like that and he's got the non rebreather on, does... That's what I just said. They're going to take it off when, he's, when he has to spit. Okay. Can we give him like a nebulizer treatment? You could give him a nebulizer treatment. Mm -hmm. What would you put in it? Albuterol. Even though that he just, he just took some yeah, and it's not You work. have to call medical control. <coughs> now we'll get a little, there'll be a point in time where if you don't, it, 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 you know, it's, it's a failure in the, 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 the assessment, but we're just starting. So we'll, but yes, you'd want to call medical control and see if you could give him a treatment. And many times with albuterol, they will say go ahead for a number of reasons. One, a lot of people do not take those little meter dose inhalers properly. Second, if he's pretty tight, that meter dose inhaler is going to go nowhere except in his trachea. It's not going to get down to the small bronchioles where it needs to be to actually relieve the bronchospasm. Thirdly, when we get him to the ER, when you get him to the emergency room, we're going to put him on a continuous nib. Okay? So, if there's a lot of factors. So, albuterol, even if the patient says, I've taken the bridge, <coughs> call your medical director. See if you can give them more. Okay? Because a lot of times they will allow that. Okay? So, you can give him a treatment. Okay. okay. I'm going to get a blanket on him. Okay. Are you going to transport this patient? Yes. yes. Okay. Alrighty. So he'd be a rapid, right? Yes, yeah. I, he's, he is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else you want to know about this guy? I'm not single, so don't look at me like that. <laughs> guy. He's a smoker. He's a smoker. He's a smoker. Yeah. Every once in a while, his silly will work. That's <laughs> true, <laughs> Okay. All right, so you guys are going to transport. He's rapid transport. What are you going to do while you've got him in transport? We'll yes, probably sir. put him in like Every the... Five minutes. You know, put him in the... Uh, well, with, with the, with the, I get well, I'm part of this group anyway, but with the history of the heart disease, would we be like hooking anything up so we could monitor... You can't read the monitor. No, we can't read them. You can put them on the monitor, but you can't read the results. So, so as a basic proof. Right. Can we do a second set of vitals? You're going to get a second set of vitals. What else are you going to do while he's in route? Be a rapid Call assessment, right? Can. Head to toe. Do the sample. Does he need a, a head to toe? Focus. No. He's a conscious medical. Remember yeah. our algorithm? Uh -huh. He's a conscious yeah. medical. So we're going to focus pretty much on what's wrong with him. Okay. Um, what else do you do during ongoing assessment, though? Uh, we put one of them. Uh, well, it's his pulse. Um, but you want to put a pulse ox on him? Yeah. Okay. And with yeah, your with your oxygen, he comes up to um, about ninety two percent. So he's improving a little bit. Mm -hmm. the is so remember, one of the things you're doing is assessing your interventions. Mm -hmm. So you gave an albuterol treatment. How do you check that? See if it's working. Check his lungs. Reassess his lung sounds. Mm -hmm. yeah. I did that. So you'll do it before and you'll do it after a treatment with albuterol. Have you relieved any of the wheezing? 
So you'll listen before and you'll listen after. Uh, remember, you're going to do his ABCs. Make sure he continues to have an airway. Now, you guys put a non-rebreather on him, and he's coughing up stuff. So what could you do that might make your life simpler? You can do a nasal cannula, or if he needs that much oxygen, hand in the suction cap, and when he coughs, he can spit into it like a <coughs> dentist and just slip that under his non-rebreather mask. So instead of having to take it off, spit, and that's also a good idea. You'd really rather capture all that spit in your little container on your suction than to have all these tissues and stuff around in your ambulance. <coughs> so a lot of times when somebody is awake and alert, and they are coughing up a bunch of gunk, I hand them the suction cath, and as they bring whatever it is up, they can spit it right into that catheter, and we don't have the mess in the ambulance. And you're not exposed to all those tissues and stuff like that. So hand him the suction catheter. Let him spit into it. You'll have to instruct him. Especially if it's Michael, you have to instruct him how to spit into the catheter. There's any little beer in it, I'd say. It's some booze. Okay. All righty. Okay, guys. How did they do? Terrible. Everybody just feels like they do terrible. Uh, remember um, your algorithms. That's why we put the patient assessment algorithm. And I can write it on the board again. I can do that for you guys if you want. But remember, you're scene size up. You, so you needed to ask me how many patients. You needed to decide if you needed additional help. And even if it's a medical, address C-spine. No evidence of trauma, so I don't need C-spine. And then your, your initial assessment. Their middle status, their chief complaint, their airway, breathing, circulation, any life threats. And your original transport decision, remember that comes in your initial assessment. Then choose your exam. On a conscious medical, what comes first in the algorithm? Pardon? The history comes first. And the exam and vital signs, but working in a group, that can be done simultaneously. Okay? And then reevaluate your transport decision, do your interventions, and during the ongoing assessment, re check your interventions, check your ABCs and mental status, okay, and recheck your vital signs. Yeah. Good. I didn't think you did awful. I think you're great to be the first one. Yeah. Okay, let's do another one.